are part of the enemy. Who's the enemy? Them. Who's them? The enemy. The ex queen of Iwo Kingdom in Oshun State, Nigeria, Oloru Chanel Chin, disgraced and exposed her ex husband Oluo of Iwo Land like never before in a tailor video on Asabe Africa TV. The monarch announced their split on Sunday, December 15, 2019, in a statement posted on Oluo of Iwo Land's Instagram page, where the traditional leader demanded his wife of four years, Chanel Chin, should be addressed as ex queen, stating they are separated due to irreconcilable personal personal differences. Four months after the separation, Olori Chanel decided to tell her side of the story in a very interesting up to three hours long interview. The mother of one exposed several secrets with an unimaginable allegations against her now ex-royal husband. You're walking on eggshell, there's tape recordings everywhere. I had to now make my own recordings for my own safety because i knew that one day my own waterloo would come without wasting any more of your time allow us to break down the most shocking revelations she made during this interview hello guys it's Nolan here from african glitz hostage in the palace Olori Chanel Chin says she had four years of isolation during her marriage with the king. She wasn't allowed to go anywhere, speak or meet people outside the palace. She wasn't allowed to work or have any sort of business. And they lived in Oshun village without electricity and little civilization. Serial Womanizer The ex Olori claims that she caught the Oluo of Iwo land with an underage girl in their home. He likes fooling around with village girls. When she confronted him, he claims that he is allowed as a king and no one can do anything about it. His excuse is, I'm a king and I'm allowed. I'm allowed to do these things. He named his son Odudua just because he likes to be powerful. Odudua is a mighty name in Yoruba land and he did this just to poke other monarchies in the kingdom and also to answer Baba Odudua. He denied his son. After naming him Odudua, Oluwo of Iwo has denied his three-year-old son and says he is not the father. After sending his mother packing in December of 2019, Chanel Chin says he is making these baseless moves because he doesn't want to take care of his son financially and also because he doesn't want her to use the name Olori. And this is how you want to repay me. You gave me a child. Now you're saying my child is not yours because you don't want me to use the title as Olori. Okay, keep Olori. I'm queen mother because my son is a crown prince. Oh, it's not my son. No child support. He abandoned her and her child with no financial aid and support, saying that they should go back to Canada. He also called the Nigerian immigration on her to report that she is living in Nigeria illegally. But my child is not the first child that is abandoned and is not the last. There's, uh, there's eight other children behind my child that he doesn't have anything to do with. He is obsessed with Odudua. This is why he named his son Odudua in hopes of gaining superpower. When he also gave Chanel Chin the crown, he dug out a picture of one of Odudua's wives wearing a crown to validate his reasons and why she needs to wear a crown. According to Chanel Chin, he imposed the name Odudua on an innocent baby just to trend and show off his superiority. When she tries to talk to him about it, he will say she is part of the enemy. Oh. Ah, yeah, part of the enemy who's the enemy them who's them the enemy fame he wants to be popular by all means this is why he placed a crown on her head just to get people talking he enjoy uses bad news to trend and often says news is news Oluwo of Iwo planned his fight with Oni of Ife. According to Chanel Chin, he planned it all in his palace, knowing there will be media coverage that will allow him to trend at the event. Guess we're gonna be on the news tomorrow. Guess what? Well, um, um, I'm gonna be Oni. I was. I'm gonna say that Oni sent the security to push me. Rumored relationship with Tiwa Savage. Talking about Oluwo's relationship with singer Tiwa Savage, Olori Chanel Chin claims it's all a show off because he prefers younger girls. He is only trying to use Tiwa Savage as pepper them on her and also to trend. 
serial blackmailer, the king of Iwolan Heights recording in his abada and often record people he is having a conversation with and could use it to blackmail them when the time comes. He regularly record conversations of visitors in his palace and this was the reason why Olori had to make her own recording for her own safety. She learned from him and started making her own recording because she said she realized one day she would meet her own Waterloo and would need to have some yes. evidence. He has little uh, you know the ac remotes a okay. uh, small remote like this he will have it inside his agbada is a recorder so when he's talking to you or he comes to your house to visit you he's recording obsessed with the north Oluwo of Iwo is obsessed with anything that has to do with the North. He says the North controls Nigeria and this is why he wants to fit in. He also wants a northern rich wife so that he can keep up with his lavish lifestyle. You know, there's one time he said to me that the North is what controls Nigerian, N Nigeria. The Nigeria as a whole is controlled by the North. Violent man. Olori Chanel Chin also claimed that the Oluo of Iwo land is a very violent man. To back up her proof, she provided pictures of her bruised body. She said this is often the case when she challenges his lies and devious ways. The last beating that I just said, you know what, forget it, because he was beating me for four years. Yahoo boy. The ex Olori also claims that the Oluo of Iwo land is a Yahoo boy. Backing up her claim, she showed a video where his voice could be heard and he claimed that he only steal from credit cards and is not a yahoo boy she also claims he is using the palace to do 419 extracting money from people ritualist Chanel Chin claims that her now ex-husband is a ritualist. The KBSC wanted her to take a blood oath in a graveyard of dead kings. Despite being a Muslim, he also appeases the gods of the land. In a video she shared, Oluwo could be heard saying they had to do an oath because this is what that binds people. She replied, but they have a child, why an oath? She also claimed that he said she doesn't have any more locks and he has used all her locks before kicking her me out. Every time. Uh, we have to go into blood oath. Uh, he's even told me the day I left the palace, he said, You don't even have any more luck. Your luck is finished. Your star is over. Your luck is finished. You have no more luck. I've used it. Yeah. What does that mean? I still don't know what does that What does that mean? What does that mean? Oluwo of Iwoland is broke. The ex Olori revealed the king of Iwoland is broke and doesn't have any money of his own and is often given money by governors. He doesn't have any job, business or house in Lagos or Canada. All the cars he drives are all donated. He collects money from politicians for votes among several other things. The Olori Crown He often forces Chanel Chin to wear the crown. Sometimes when she feels like tying Gele, he wouldn't allow her and tells her to stay at home if she refuses to wear the crown. Chanel Chin said the first time she wore the crown, she felt very uncomfortable because no other Olori wears a crown. She revealed that she wore the crown for peace sake and just to please him. Iwo Women Chanel Chin showed a piece of video evidence where the king said Iwo Women are only good to be made and servants and not a wife material. He also said he couldn't marry them because they can kill him. He deprived her of simple things. The ex Olori says she wasn't allowed to learn the Yoruba language. She self-taught herself by downloading apps and teaching herself. She wasn't also allowed to do any business or have a job either. A king with too many hats. According to Chanel Chin, the Oluwo of Iwo contradicts himself culturally. He dresses as an Emir or Eze and when she tells him he is not a custodian of Islam but Yoruba culture and doing all this is blurring the line of tradition, he will say she is part of the enemy. Great. He threatened to kill her in the palace and claimed nothing will come out of it. He will say she caught a fever and died and no one will ask any questions. After hearing this, she became very scared of the man. I can kill you and nothing will come out of it. You are just a lorry and nobody cares about a lorry. I have AIG. I have IG. I have DPO. I will just say you caught fever and died. 
out and away. He wants her out of Nigeria by fire by force. He doesn't want her to reveal a lot of things that transpired between them over the years. He also told her that if she stays in Nigeria, no one will want her and he is the biggest thing that will ever happen to her. Oluwo is the biggest liar. Chanel Chim called her ex-husband Oluwo of Iwolan a big liar who lied to her about not having a first wife and any other children. When she met him, he wasn't honest with her because he abandoned his eight children. Another big lie is that Oluwo claims that they met in Canada. She said they met in Nigeria when she visited. All that glitters is not gold. The ex Olori claims that there is no electricity in their home in Oshun. When there is no electricity, they use small generators which can power the fridge or cooker. But the king, when planning to go to events, tries so hard to look glamorous and costly to maintain appearance. In 2017, when Oluwo of Iwo showed off a yellow Lamborghini while in Canada, his ex wife says he was only posing by the car and the car doesn't belong to him. Mentally not okay. The ex queen claims her ex husband is mentally not okay. She also claims he's a narcissist and a user. He says he is a first class king and the most significant person she will ever meet in her life. And no man will want her because it is a taboo for an ordinary man to want an ex Olori. The relationship was built on lies. To conclude her points, she said her marriage was based on a foundation of lies. She was just a stepping stone for him to get to his next destination. Also, he double-crossed a lot of people with lies to get to the throne. And this is why so many people hate him and the reason why nobody wants to get involved in their relationship drama. Chief Abiola Ogundoku Abaka validated Chanel Chin's story in a tell-all interview he had with Asaba Africa TV. He talked about how Chanel Chin suffered in the hands of Oluwo of Iwo and confessed he wouldn't allow his own daughters to go through such an ordeal. Concluding his point, he said he is very ashamed of Oluwo of Iwo land. The only thing I was allowed to leave the palace with was the clothes I came to Nigeria with and the clothes that... I had before he met me but anything that I had all of my native Ankara's my Ophis my coral beads all of those things I was not allowed to take them he says it's for the next coming Olori the Oluwo of Iwolan Oba Abdul Rashid Akambi is here to respond to all the allegations against him by his ex-wife we know it's a matter of time before we hear from him again do you think Olori Chanel Chin is telling the truth? Which of these allegations surprise you the most? Share your thoughts with us on the comment section down below. Hello guys, it's Nolin here from African Glitz. Have you ever thought of becoming a digital entrepreneur? Well, with the situation of our world today and with everything rapidly changing, Companies and businesses are literally stepping up their games and everything is moving online. So can you and so can your business. Instead of sitting at home waiting for the lockdown to be over, digital business courses are the perfect way to go right now and we have the perfect person to help you and guide you here today. Peace and her team are helping thousands of people to switch things up and become online entrepreneurs and content creators and you can become one of them. All you need to do is head to their website PeaceUKDigitalEntrepreneur.com and enroll in the training. It will only cost you $149 and you'll be taught everything you need to know about digital business. Now, if you start the course and along the line you find out it's not the right course for you, you can ask for your money back and it will be refunded to you 100%. But once you enroll in the training, you'll be allocated a coach or a mentor who will guide you step by step until you finish the course or even have your own website and start your business right away and you can choose whatever you want to be be it content creating video creating you will in fact have a wider knowledge of what you want to do online and the best part is you can decide your own time and pace and it doesn't matter where you are in the world you can be in the UK US anywhere in Europe Asia UAE or even Africa
Jamaica. Oh yes, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. All you need is your mobile phone, your laptop and internet and you're good to go. So in this informative web classes, you'll be taught tips and strategies on how to start your own business and you have a coach who'll be you know, guiding you step by step. So there's really nothing to worry about. So many people are enrolling in this course, including people who are retired, bankers, social workers. You know what? I'll let you see for yourself. Here, 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 coming out from our favorite beach in the world. Waikiki Beach. <laughs> My name's Alicia and my name is Trina. My name is Stella. I'm 47 and work for the government. I'm a mom of two beautiful children and I have a career in the mental health and disability field. My background is in accounting. I'm a registered nurse, a postgraduate student, and I love traveling. I come from a very strenuous construction background and <laughs> am I glad to be doing what I'm doing today. I was tired of a regular 8 to 5 job. I mean, I came back from work, I was always tired, and I still had so much stuff to do, attend to the kids, to the home, and everything else. Um, but of course, I needed more money. It was the best solution for us for an extra income uh, to spend more time with family and our friends and each other, of course. But I made the move online because I knew it was possible to, to make my dream a reality, which is to be a stay-at-home mom while building an amazing and successful online business. We want to enjoy time freedom with our family and friends. I was able to get plugged into a community that uh, provided all the just training and the support that was needed, everything step by step. I couldn't ask for a better business model than what I have right now, and I am so grateful. It was super easy to get started, and I started seeing results immediately. I'm seeing results in my business, and I'm using it to uh, take care of some of the bills in my home. Last summer, my husband and I were able to build our dream home. We were able to purchase new vehicles for both of us. It's very exciting, the fact that we can be home with our kids, raising them, keeping them out of daycare, Easter, and uh, having time to play with them and raise them ourselves. Because of this business, my life has changed. I'm debt free and enjoying life. So don't waste your time, get on board. You guys need to check this out. Take that leap of faith, you will not be sorry. Uh, you'll be glad you did. Good luck. Folks, these people you've just heard before us, these are some of the most amazing people. These are people that we work with on a daily basis. And this is just such a small sampling of what has become a global movement. People that you just couldn't even believe that are working from the comfort of their own home, that are doing something different. They're coloring outside of the lines. They're doing difference compared to what society tells us we should come to expect. You know, Darren and I, we've been working online for, for a long time, especially this one. How yeah. long have you been online now? Uh, 10 years plus, just that's over 10 years. Online years, that's like dog years. It's like a <laughs> hundred years now. But yeah. folks, the point is- Since the dawn of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> literally. The point is here, we're all succeeding because we're doing it together. And if, if you've ever been a solopreneur, you know how difficult it is. And, you know, Darren and I, we've been very grateful and fortunate in our lives because, I mean, even right now, I mean, we're coming at you from the Gulf Islands. We literally live in paradise. We're able to live here because... We work online. We work online. And, and for us, I mean, this is living life on our terms. For you, it might be something different. It might be putting kids through school, taking your first family vacation. Oh, gosh, what else have people done? Uh, paying off their mortgage. You know, their yeah. mortgage. Renovating uh, their whole house. Helping their, paying off their parents' debt. We've had yes. a few people do that. All kinds of things. So uh, it's pretty amazing. You know, for so many people, you're you're afraid to dream because you're you're afraid you'll never accomplish your dreams. They just seem way too big, right? And this is a really sad reality that today's world, I think. But here, people are dreaming and they're actually achieving their dreams. And if that sounds like something you'd like to do, this Check is your chance. Bye, everybody. See you on the inside. So, as you can see, it doesn't matter if you have a 9 to 5 job, you can earn extra income working for yourself. And this is the way most people are going these days. You don't need to know so much about the internet or be a social media guru to enroll in this course. And it feels amazing working for yourself, mostly in this day and age. So, I'm going to leave all the details down below. Get in touch with them and find out how Peace and her team can help you today. You don't want to spend the lockdown sitting at home and doing nothing right now is the time to act so invest in yourself learn something today and become your own boss and check out this website to get all the necessary information you need and once you know what to do online the sky is your limit the world is becoming a global village and you really don't want to miss out why not try this online learning out and surprise yourself